Right, with just 26 days to go before the World Cup in Qatar, a prominent human rights activist says he's been detained after he staged what his foundation believes is the first public LGBT plus protest in the Gulf state. Now, Sky's Rob Harris joins us for more on this. So what can you tell us about this story, Rob? Yeah, this was an incident today at the National Museum in Qatar where Peter Tatchell, a veteran LGBT rights activist, went to the country to show his protest against the discriminatory laws in the country. The fact mm. is there are laws prohibiting same-sex relations, something highlighted significantly ahead of this World Cup, and he went there with a sign that read, Qatar arrests, jails and subjects LGBTs to conversion and with a hashtag Qatar anti-gay. Now, there's some conflicting sense of what happened there. He believes that he was arrested, detained. Qatar's government does deny this. What is clear from Tatchin himself talking afterwards just now to Doha News, a local outlet is, although he was stopped for a time, he was allowed to continue protesting and he wasn't led away. He wasn't handcuffed. He wasn't taken away. And we are seeing those scenes outside the uh, museum. And, of course, it would be an unusual sight in Qatar. It's a uh, deeply conservative country. It's a country without democratic freedoms. It's not used to protest. So this would mm. stand out as something. OK, look, you've been there recently, haven't you, to interview the boss of the Qatar World Cup, Nasir al Qaeda. What's the mood like ahead of the tournament? Because the whole world is starting to watch. Yeah, and there are a lot of concerns about the World Cup being held in a country with discriminatory laws. Yeah. The fact is this anti-LGBTQ plus legislation, just yesterday, Human Rights Watch, another group highlighting actually how Qataris have been arrested in the country and subject to abuse for being gay. Mm. And this is why Peter Tatchell went today. Now, the statement from Qatar's government today is just denying that he was detained. They're not, of course, in any way trying to deny what Peter Tatched himself is claiming. But what Nasser al Qatar, the CEO of the World Cup, said to me a few weeks ago is all fans would be welcome, gay fans would be welcome, they would even be able to hold hands in the streets. Really? Yeah. I mean, that's interesting because that is against what is allowed there currently, right? Yeah, I mean, they would say actually within their culture you do get men often holding hands anyway, right. so that is a, a, a counterpoint raised. But they are saying mm. they are welcome to rainbow flags being displayed okay. in stadiums because a few months ago when I was in Qatar, there was a security official who said to me at the time that maybe they'd be taken off fans to protect themselves from being attacked in some way by yeah. those protesting against them. But the message was actually we will be welcoming uh, any form of um, solidarity. And, of course, we are going to see the England and Wales captains planning to wear those One Love multicoloured mm. armbands to highlight discrimination in Qatar during the World Cup. OK. Interesting times ahead. Thank you so much for joining us, Rob.